happy to blog but stay six. I'm about to take Teddy to the vet, so definitely not be able to blog there. Uh, Teddy's my outside kitty, by the way. It's really early. It's really not that early, but it feels really early. And it's officially cold. I'm excited about that. But I'm also kind of like sad because the outside cats are going to hate it, but like it's finally winter or fall. I haven't seen how cold it is outside. Seen? Felt. Not to say felt. But I'm just excited that it's like a season that's not summer now, regardless how cold it is. He is so very unhappy with this. He just meowed and meowed. And he's not a meower. He never meows. I didn't think he knew how to properly meow. But um, I guess when panicked, he did. Gotta get you checked for worms, dude, because I think you have them. So it's a few hours later. We took him to the vet. He was acting really weird and it made me nervous. Like, I was like really scared. Like, I, I literally thought he was gonna stop breathing at any moment. Last time when we took him to the vet, he was like purring like crazy, just like, like loving all the attention he was getting. And he was like a completely different cat. And it like just, it scared me the way he was behaving. And they were running really behind schedule. And so we just left. We didn't even get him seen. So I'm home now. And I'm looking at audiobooks right now. Some of the ones that I have in my cart, um, this one called Braving the Wilderness by Brene Brown. She's actually a teacher at my old school. <laughs> it's weird to say. Um, I always wanted to take a class with her, but I couldn't. Uh, so I have that one. I have Big Magic by Elizabeth Gilbert, which is about um, like writing and creative living. And then I have Astrophysics. Uh, let me say it again. Astrophysics for People in a Hurry by Neil deGrasse Tyson and... Um, I realized that I just don't like those romance books on audiobook. I always find them like cringy and awkward and so I'm just not. And one of you guys said that you listened to biographies and I was like, you know, that's probably the safest bet. So I have five credits. I'm going to get these three. If you guys have any like, um, like exact recommendations, I will, um, wait for my other two last credits, but I'm going to go ahead and do these. Cool. All right. So I got those. I have a dentist appointment still. I haven't had anything to eat yet today. What time is it? It's like noon. I should probably go get something to eat. I just felt really like sick about the thing with Teddy. Like I just regretted taking him in the first place. I'm like not gonna get into this. I've been looking at jobs this morning. But I, I do that every night. I just don't really show it because like I don't want to show a job that I might end up doing, you know? Oh, something else. I'm gonna try to adjust this ankle a little bit so I can, there we go. I tried on my, my backup dress. I don't know if I ever mentioned it in a vlog. But it's one that I got a few years ago. Um, it's not really like special and it's a little bit big on me and so it kind of like wants to fall off my shoulders. But I think I just might do that one and keep that other shirt still because it was like such a good deal. It was like $12 uh, and it was normally like 30 something. Um, I'll just keep that for like the workplace and job interviews and stuff like that. Does anybody else have like a bobby pin collection wherever they go? Like they're just scattered around my entire life. Question of the day, what is your most used condiment? I think ranch and uh, chipotle tabasco are my two. Honestly, I use chipotle tabasco more than I use ranch now, which is like unheard of for me. Like I go through one of these a month. And we're out of bowls right now, so I'm eating literally out of a baking bowl because we're classy at this place. I haven't noticed. done the dentist decided to leave five minutes before my appointment so I went there for literally no reason other than for them to clean my teeth like yeah that's yeah great this is a new angle surprisingly easier to hold. Maybe I'll do this more often. Uh, we ended up finding Teddy. He came back. I'm really relieved. Like, I was in such a nasty mood today because 
I was worried about him and I was kind of mad at myself for taking him to the vet at all and I was mad at the vet and I just was not in a good mood. And then the dentist thing, that just like topped it off. I've had quite a few bad things happen, but like I'm letting go of that. I feel better now. He's come back. I'm not worried. Uh, it got really cold and while I love the cold, I was really worried that he would hold a grudge and not come back and get sick and let me just say this. I've had a lot of nightmares over the past like two weeks or so. And many of them have been concerning the two outside cats, Mama's, Mama and Teddy. And I had this nightmare that he was stuck in, um, we don't even have these in Texas, but like up north where you don't have floods. It's like the under part of your house. It's not a basement though. It's just like the stuff that's underneath of it. I don't know what it's called. It's like a crawl space. Um, so I had a nightmare that he was stuck in there and that I thought, like in the dream, that someone got him out because I told them about it and they're like, oh no, I didn't. And I was mad because he was in there for like, I don't know, some time. And he was living inside of like a to-go container box and trying to like get the food from there. And it was terrible. And like thinking about it right now, it makes me want to cry. Like it was just one of those that really didn't make that much sense. But the idea of him being in trouble and no one doing anything, um, that really got to me. And that made me really concerned because I thought that maybe this was something that my, my brain put together that I had observed. I just felt really worried. It was something I was wanting to do and I felt compelled to take him. Um, and so I trusted that, but I think my fear was that in taking him to the vet, I caused what would happen in the dream. And so I was sitting around thinking like, it's really cold, it's rainy, it's super windy. It's like 20 mile an hour winds. And I'm like, he's gonna die. I just, I just had that feeling. I'm just happy that he's in the garage and we have two space heaters and he refuses to sleep in bed. So we have towels just like scattered across the garage in hopes that he'll sit on one. But yeah, that's why, that's, that's just why. Um, tomorrow, I didn't actually expect to do this. I was going to, I don't think I ever told the vlog this. I was thinking about doing a different direction with that video project I was talking about, but um, then I realized that I had my dates wrong and it's actually due this Sunday. I just had my shit wrong. So now I'm having to do something that I wasn't expecting to do and trying to adapt it and not have to go downtown and just like go to my local mall and film there and hope that no one gets weird and like makes me leave. Anyway, so Corey's gonna help me with that tomorrow. I was gonna do that downtown, but it just ha didn't work out that way because I got my shit wrong. Oh, I want to know who your favorite, um people who are doing vlogmas are. I'm really into That's Chic. Her name's Rachel Nguyen. I think she used to primarily do like fashion videos, but now she's, I mean like she does vlogs intermittently also, but um, I just really am loving her vibe. I don't really want to say that she's like similar to Claire Marshall. Like they just have very unique vibes to their videos. And so I guess in that way, I feel like they're similar, but she's like much more like vintage 90s old, I don't know. I like her style though. Okay. Oh, Carrie Rad, I really like hers. Uh, Gabriella Lindy, I, or Lindsley, not Lindy, Lindsley. Gabriella Lindsley. Those are the ones like off the top of my head that I'm like obsessively watching. Like I really, really enjoy their vlogs. I'm sure there are a couple others that are just escaping me, but I want to know what your favorites or who your favorites are. That way some of us can go and like follow them and I just, I want more vlogmas videos to watch. I love vlogs. I think they're so fun. I am going to be doing like more like standard, uh, regular programming type of videos, but I'm actually hoping to do some of those, like film them this week. All right. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I will see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 7. My arm is numb. Oh.